You worked at Apple in that amazing summer of 1984 when Steve Jobs launched the Macintosh. You were a college intern. And later on, he taught you when you try to form a company, it's got to be a company upon which other people can build things, like having apps. Tell me about what you learned from Steve Jobs. Well, what I learned from Steve Jobs is very simple which is that it takes incredible vision and incredible inspiration to do amazing things. And when you look at the kind of passion that he had for uh, creating great products, that, well, that was just so inspiring to me. I remember being there in 1984, and there was a pirate flag on the roof and a motorcycle in the lobby and shiatsu masseurs roaming the halls, you know, uh, helping, you know, programmers who've been working, you know, through the night. I mean, that was a completely unique work environment, but the products that came out of that time were also incredibly unique. I mean, it's, so many of them are still with us today. It's amazing to see, you know, what is, what is possible today uh, with, the, with this legacy that he left behind, uh, not just the iPhone, not just the iPad, even the, the Macintosh. So many of the technologies that we use today to be productive came from the mind and the inspiration and the leadership of uh, Steve Jobs. And I'll tell you that in one meeting that I had with him when I started Salesforce, I sat down with him, I reviewed my business plan, and he said to me, oh, Mark, you've got it all wrong. There's three things you have to do. You have to be much larger. I mean, you have to be 10 times larger than you are in 24 months. And Mark, number two, you, you, you've got to make this just so much easier and serve very large companies. And three, you need to build an application economy. And I said, an application economy? Well, what does that mean, Steve? He said, well, I don't know, but you better go figure it out. And I marched out of that office and I'm like, whoa, that was like a, a meeting with a, a, a priest giving me, you know, like a puzzle. And I uh, got in my car and then I went home and, you know, I had uh, one of my co-founders with me, Parker Harris, and we were viewing the notes from that meeting for weeks, for months. And then I called Parker one day and I said, you know what, we're going to build an application economy. And we created something called the App Exchange. Well, the first version of the App Exchange was called the App Store. And I bought a URL called appstore.com. And I also have the trademark for App Store. And then Steve called me in 2008 and he said, hey, come down. I, wanna, I want you to be here for an important announcement we're going to do. And I went down there and he said, hey, we're going to announce today the App Store. So this was quite a few years later now. This is actually about three or four years later. And at the end of it, I said to him, hey, I have a gift for you. He goes, what gift? What do you mean you have a gift for me? I said, I'm giving you the trademark and the URL, appstore.com. You know, that, that's my gift to you for everything you've done for me. He's like, well, how did you come up with this? And I'm like, well, you told me to think about it. what does it mean to have an application economy? So it's, it was quite a relationship.